Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Queen G. I'm a light and I'm back with another one. God bless. God bless all. Quick message today. Brief to the point. No bull cornering around. I want to give praises to the Most High Almighty God who strengthens me, who woke me up this morning, who promised me that I would have a good day. Till Satan steps in and tries to destroy my peace. I'm starting to realize that's all it's really about is peace, peace here on earth, goodwill toward men, right? So let's praise the Lord every day of our lives so we can stay balanced and stay walking in love. And when we put out good energy, good energy comes back to us, right? Until Satan steps in. So I have two funny stories. But um, again, like I said, praises to the Most High Almighty God. I did not bring my prayer book. Oh, here it is. Let's see. Let's see what um the Lord sends us to. Hmm. The full armor of God prayer. We need that today. I definitely need that today. <laughs> the full armor of God. Please respect the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We put on the full armor for the battle, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes with preparations of the gospel of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. Slash word of God, that is. With your mighty force, we ask you to keep us strong during this battle, to overcome all of our enemies' attacks in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and it shall be done. Amen and amen. So, two funny stories. So, yesterday around 7, it's so beautiful outside. I was like, man, I'm going to go to the park. I told you, I like enjoying sitting in the car at the park like a weirdo. It was such a beautiful night. I said, I got to go to the park. I'm going to go get me a um, treat from um, McDonald's. I didn't want the cookies. I just wanted a caramel sundae. So, usually when you go to McDonald's and you get a caramel sundae, they give you this little bag of nuts, right? And if you don't ask for them, they will forget to give them to you because they stand you with them nuts. But anyway, so this time before I got to the window to, to um, get my order, um, something reminded me to ask for some nuts. So, I said, I'm on top of my game tonight. I'm going to ask for some nuts so that I can have nuts with my sundae. So, we opened up the window. It was a nice... Um, um, brother young brother uh african-american brother uh and uh he had a beautiful sunday made for me the proportion was nice because the caramel and the ice cream um lasted all the way till i was finished so i had enough caramel to last with the whole sunday i appreciate that but there was no nuts so i said and I had my shades on, and I was chilling. I had my tank top on. I was just ready to sit in the car and get that good breeze and enjoy some music. And just, I didn't even listen to music. I just really, like, enjoyed the breeze last night. So as I pulled up and he opened the window to hand me my, my Sunday, I said, thank you. I said, do you have any nuts? And it's exactly how I said it. Because I'm trying to, you know, use better etiquette and things of that nature. So, um, I said, do you have any nuts? And when I said that, that young man blushed so hard. And then I instantly understood where his mind went. <clears throat> and he said, hold on. He closed the window. He stayed gone for a, a good minute. A, a pretty long time. He must have walked all through that McDonald's looking for some nuts. He went he went searching for some nuts. I think he even went into the manager's office and asked the manager super, slash supervisor, whoever, do we have any nuts? 
So when he came back, he came back with the same energy. He was all cheesy and grinning all hard. His face was red. And he was tickled pink bay. And he said, I'm sorry, we don't have any nuts. And I said, <laughs> because I knew where he was going, because I knew I embarrassed him. And he just thought it was so funny that I asked for some nuts that way. And um, I looked at him, I said, so you don't have any nuts? And he said, no, we don't have any. And I said, dang, no nuts, huh? I said, well, okay, thank you. Have a good day. And I drove off. Anyway, that was funny. I had him blushing. And I was like, it was it was funny, though, because I said, do you have any nuts? That's that's funny. Okay, so, um, now this one's not so funny, but it could be funny if y'all want to think it's funny. It's up to y'all if y'all want to laugh at it or not, because I really ain't laughing at it. It's just the point that needs to be made, because here we go on some touchy subjects, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So yesterday I was speaking on how people, um, I want to start seeing the spirit behind the people. I don't want to see the people anymore because the people lie to your face, don't they? So Lord, let me see the spirit behind the people. So I'm going to McDonald's again today. This time I'm just going through the drive through to get me a sweet tea. Now, I mind you, I'm already in the parking lot headed toward, I'm not even far away, uh, probably just a few more um, uh, feet and I'm at the drive through and it's my turn. But this big old not, uh, tow truck whips in out the street and cuts me off and, and takes my spot in the drive-thru. Now, mind you, this is not a tow truck. This is one of those big diesel tow trucks that, that tow tr diesels. So it's big. It's not like he just whipped in there and he was a car. He just actually just cut me off and disrespected me like to the 10th power. And I just sat there and looked at him when he did it like, look at him. And he had a girl, a lady in the car with him that was doing like this. The, and I'm going to say something about this to you guys. Y'all know how I feel about this like this and this and stuff. Y'all look like y'all just got through coming out of the house from an effing session. And she yeah, she was flinging her hair around. Or, you, you, or you're cheating on your husband with this dude at work. Or you wasn't supposed to be in that truck with him at the time and y'all was doing some little sneaking and creeping so um they thought they got away <laughs> and i told you i'm sick of it i'm gonna start calling everybody all the devils out every time i see one i'm gonna say something to you if you if you violating my space or disrespecting me in any kind of way um well i take that back this this just god hey release the beast so i pulled up they thought they were in the clear right that I was just going to take that and just let them cut me off like that. Disrespectful. I guess he saw what color I was. So I decided to pull up on the side of them. And the, the rig, the big old truck was so big. I'm looking up at him. And I honk, uh, uh, uh. And she looks out like this. And I look and I said, Do you know that was rude what you did to me by cutting me off like that? Why did y'all, you know, that was very, very rude. That was that was rude as hell. And uh, she's like, huh? I said, can you hear me? Because the rig was loud. And she's like, Hah. I said, so I, so I yelled because when I, when I, my voice can get very, very deep. <laughs> and really, really loud. I said, can you hear me now? I said, that was messed up what you did, how y'all cut me off. So disrespectful. You just going to cut me off? I said, I said, that was rude as heck. I might have said the F word, babe. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, babe. I be trying so hard, babe. I be trying. All the people in Bay Circle that's watching, forgive me, y'all. I'm just, Gina's different. Look, it's true. Look, I'm going to prove it to you because this is the, well, this is one of the, the downloads from yesterday. That was on the floor that I just picked up. I'm sorry. I have to sometimes. They got to get it. They need to be scolded and rebuked. So, I I, I, uh, I told them, shame on them, whatever. Anyway, I, I go around and I go inside because, see, everybody has gotten so comfortable since the pandemic. Nobody ever wants to go inside of the McDonald's that I uh, uh, frequently go to. I'm, I'm guilty of that, too. 
So everyone goes through the drive-through. But I noticed here lately the the um the inside's back open. Nobody's in there. So I pull the car up and get out and trot myself in and get my drink. So when I get my drink, they're still in the line when I come back around. So I pull up on the side of them like, boo. Because <laughs> I wasn't finished with them yet. And I said, hey, um, to let you know, I, got, I still got my stuff before you. And I said, that was so rude how y'all cut me off. And so she, she looked at me and she was like, and she said, so, and I said, you're a redneck. And I drove off and I said, redneck. <laughs> and I drove off, y'all. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm, I sure did. Because it be the, it, I was looking at the spirit behind the people. Because she was at like, first she was at. Like, that was her opportunity at that time when I said that to see that I was offended by what they did. And she could have took up for her man or whoever he was at the time to her and said, you know what? I told, I told, uh, Travis that he was wrong for that. I'm so sorry, ma'am. We are so sorry. We just was not, we was not paying attention. We are sorry. But she chose to start. She was supposed to tell me she thought she was about to tell me something. Lady, step up out that truck. You and Travis. So um, she was like, well, I, so I, I said, no, nah, you, what you ain't about to do is over talk me when you, when you are in the wrong, I said, you're a redneck. That means you're hateful. You think you have privileges because of your skin or whoever decided to let you ride in that truck, got your head real big. And, um, I could call y'all out on the, cause I, I could have read off the, um, the name of the company, but it's not necessary, but they needed to get their day messed up because y'all was trying to mess with my peace. I was in a good frame of mind. They had took two big, giant, giant, big old giant bags of, of clothes to the, to the Jesus house this morning. And I had just completed that uh, in some blank, in a blanket that I decided to give away because it's hard for me to give away blankets because I'm a blanket baby. But um, my son didn't want it, so... It went to Jesus' house. Anyway, it was a kid blanket. So anyway, I, um, I'm i feeling pretty good about myself. I'm happy. I'm listening to my gospel music. I got my windows down. And then y'all come and cut me off like that and disrespect me, make me feel bad. Like I'm like, I leave the nerve of, the nerve of people. So, um, yeah, I called them out on who they were. Because you thought she thought she was about to up in that truck. She thought she was about to tell me something. You know, you're not Satan. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And you got told exactly I called you out for what you really were. Sitting up there in that truck thinking you were higher and mightier than me. Anyway. Yeah. That's touchy subjects. Mm -hmm. So before I left the house and all this even occurred, um, I turned my Bible to the subject for today that the Lord drawn me near to, which is Romans, the first chapter. And I start with um, verse 20. I'm in the NCV. So everyone can understand it and I can too. So I can break it down or... You know, me reading it, you can understand it. Okay. Bae! <laughs> I love bae. Hi, bae. I love bae. I love bae. I forgot to say that. Let me get that in before I just... Let me stop just a second, Lord Jesus. Forgive. You know I have to say I love bae. I love you, bae. I love you. I love you so, 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 so much. I do. I love Bay, y'all. Mm-hmm. What you doing today, handsome? What you have for breakfast? I can't wait to take Bay out to breakfast. Show Bay off. I'm going to show Bay off. Mm-hmm. And Bay thinks he's going to show me off. It's going to be the other way around. I'm going to show Bay off. I'm going to look at my husband. 
this man right here. Mm -mm -mm. Just a freaking adorable. Mm -mm -mm. I love Bay, but let me get back in, Bay. And that cozy spot, I said, looky, Bay, look. That is it, Bay. We can sit out there and you can play your guitar. And we can enjoy a breeze in the backyard of the house. That's what I want, babe. I want a sexy little cozy setup like that. So we could, you know, entertain friends and family out there and stuff. Have a grill out there and enjoy just enjoy nature. Speaking of nature also, so when I get up this morning and I look out the door, it's a big pile of trash to someone then. And it came from these apartments across the street. I should have took a picture of it because I put my trash can out last night since my son vacuum, I mean, oh, vacuum, mowed the lawn. So one of the trash cans went out because, I, like I said, I've been clearing out stuff at the house. And so I said, I'm going to just go ahead and take this one out tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll only got to take the one out. Uh, and I got more work to do and more things to throw away. And I put that one on the curb tonight. Well, anyway, so I look outside this morning. It's a big old trash bag looking just like the big trash, like trash bags that I use to give away the stuff. And I'm like, that look like one of my trash bags with that stuff laying out. And all the stuff is not even in the trash bag no more. It's just thrown out there, plates and trash and oh, it's so nasty. And I'm like, I'm standing there just staring at it like, see, that's how the devil do. But see, it's not in front of my house, luckily. It's in front of the neighbor's house. But the little kids had to stand at the bus stop by it. And you should have seen the dumpster and the trash can and how it was full it is. And somebody threw all kind of clothes and trash all on the side of the dumpster. Knock them raggedy apartments down. Oh, I ought to go in there and tell them something about their trifling selves. It's disgusting. Oh, I just don't. It's so trashy. No, oh, I want beautiful scenery. I don't want to see this kind of stuff no more unless I'm driving down the street. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get it back here. And one kiss for Bay. Man, I got on red lipstick, Bay. <laughs> I got on my favorite color, but I put on red lipstick. Okay. Romans 1 and 20. There are things about him that people cannot see. He's his eternal power and all the things that make him God. But since the beginning of the world, those things have been easy to understand by what God has made. So people have no excuse for the bad things they do. They knew God, but they did not give glory to God or thank him. I don't want to at this time stop and say thank you to my sweet dear Jesus for saving me. Thank you for the Lord that came and, and put his blood down for my life and your life. That was the cure, you know, to the salvation. I want to thank the Holy Spirit that came down and and brought sweet Jesus to Mary for us. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Their thinking became useless. Their foolish minds were filled with darkness. They said they were wise, but they became fools they traded the glory of god who lives forever for the worship of idols um made to look like earthly people birds animals and snakes mm. i call those the pretenders and the fillers uh-huh you people that just be out here like the walking dead because they did these things, God left them and let them go their sinful way, wanting only to do evil. As a result, they became full of sexual sin, using their bodies wrongly with each other. 
Now, these are touchy subjects, and if I hurt or offend anyone, um, then it's something you need to work on because this is the word of the Lord and not the word of me. I'm not judging anyone today other than the people that crossed me over at the McDonald's and disrespected me as though I was a nobody. That's how the devil does us. So let me keep going. They traded the truth of God for a lie. They worshipped and served what had been created instead of the God who created those things who should be praised forever. Amen. Because people did those things, God let them and let them and let them do the shameful things they wanted to do. This is touchy subjects. When God, when, okay, women stopped having natural sex and started having sex with other women. These are touchy subjects. In the same way, men stop having natural sex and begin watching each other. These are touchy subjects. Men did shameful things with other men. And in their bodies, they receive the punishment for those wrongs. These are touchy subjects. The people did not think it was important to have a true knowledge of God. So God left them and allowed them to have their own worthless thinking and to do things that should not, they should not do. They are filled with with every kind of sin, evil, selfishness, and hatred. They are full of jealousy, murder, fighting, lying, and thinking the worst about each other. Those are touchy subjects. Now, as I said, when I called out the devil for what it was, you know, that was kind of me on my part, but I give back the same energy you put out there. You were lying to my face when you were like, I, I, I can't, I, you heard, she heard me. Because when I pulled up and she was in her world like this, and I pulled up on her and she looked down, she was shocked because I was back again. Let me tell you something about yourself and your, and your world up there in that big old truck, you know. You're nobody. You're no different. You're no better than me. So that's why I went there with them. Mm -hmm, I sure did. And so here we go. The, the hate, they hate God. Okay. Um, fighting, lying, and thinking they're the worst of each other. They hate God. They are rude conceited and brag about themselves they invent ways of doing evil they do not obey their parents they are foolish they do not keep their promises and they show no kindness or mercy to each other they know god's law says that those who live like these should die but they themselves not only continue to do these evil things, they applaud others who do them too. What? So, I mean, that's why I go do a little correction. Let them know. There's some people out here will go call you on your bull crap. I'm one of those people. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. And so, if anybody got something to say about it, take it up with God. This is what God said. Now, I'm going to pull out these energies. Not today. There it goes again. Not today, Satan. You're not going to do me like that because I'm cut from a different cloth. And I'm not afraid to tell y'all, those kind of people, ooh, yeah, it gives me great pleasure. Mm great pleasure 
the chariot. Something's coming. Inspiration. Some kind of fast action or something's coming towards somebody. Um, it could be a new job. It could be anything. But something's coming. Cleanse your house. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I sure am. I'm cleaning my house. Um, lies. That's the devil. The devil be lying right in your face. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. You didn't even say that. She was like, so, girl. No. No. Brad, Brad, Brad ain't going to stop you from getting this butt whooping. So don't do that. Don't do that. Um. In loving memory of your ego. That's what I did when I drove off. I said, you read that. Yeah. I bet they was feeling crunchy. Because the first time I drove off, I was pointing at them like, shame on you. They was looking stupid in there. They thought they was free. They thought I was long gone. And, and, and then I drove off as though I didn't get an order. You know what I'm saying? But then what I did was circle back around park and went in and got my tea and then came back around. And they were still over there. So I said, okay, it's my turn to tell them something. Trust your intuition so that you can see past the, the people. Preparing for the attack of the enemy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's why I want to see before you come. And break up. Um, separation. Stop the pattern. Um, um, silent treatment. Abandonment. An axe. And it says the runner was the chaser, but I said that yesterday, and I that was on the floor. It just fell from whatever. So let me go ahead and do a little energy, because I got time. I got time. Not for Satan, but I got time for this good this energy or message to give to someone. Hopefully, I can inspire you to have a, you know, a change of mind on something, or just know, you know, you're not alone, or... You know, yeah, the devil is busy when you're thinking, why is all these bad things happening to you? Look, it says here, it says forsaken, abandoned, um, deserted. Somebody's feeling deserted and abandoned in a um, situation with someone. Maybe, you know, breakups are hard. Breakups are hard. Got to push through them things. Don't you want a better outcome? Don't you want a better life? Don't you want a better way? Bay, it's you. See, if you let go of those toxic relationships, you can have a beautiful relationship like I'm about to have with Bay. Yeah, it's Bay is definitely it. That's what my vote's for. I vote for Bay. Anything Bay do, I'm right there with my Vaseline and my purse and my holy water and my Bible, my muscles, my scriptures, my love, my unconditional love for Bay. Uh, scrambling in fear of their consequences, yes. See, when I did that to them, that was the beginning of the consequences. There's no telling what happened to the rest of their day. It, that man messed around and got fired from his job. He don't play with me. And I'm not, I'm not sending no, no negative nothing anyway, anybody's way. It's the consequences of it. When you mess with somebody that has a really good heart, they didn't even know because they were so busy in their world. Okay, I have Ephesians here too, 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith is not from yourself. It is the gifts of God, not by works, so no one can boast. God don't like no boaster. God's telling us that he did all this for us. He's sitting back like, look at him. Look at them. They don't even realize I opened their eyes up this day. The breath, the, the air they breathe comes from me. Everything. I am the source of it all. And they do not know. They are so busy in their little worlds. Riding up in big trucks and stuff. Thinking they some gods. Shame. Shame, I say. No, 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 no. It says, God is telling me it's time to um, modernize the word of God. This isn't your old timey religion. This is the now the new, the, the age of the now believers. We're the now believers and we're here to take over what we already had, um, was promised. 
it's been promised to us. We're just going to start bringing ourselves out and showing ourselves and revealing ourselves to y'all. Y'all not going to like it because we're going to make y'all uncomfortable like y'all always tried to make us. The now believers are sharp. They're disciplined. They're loyal. They're unapologetic, dedicated without fear, ready to fight what comes against the principles of the most high. We are not weak but mighty in strength and pure at heart and warriors of light in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Get out the way, Satan. I'm mightier than, than 10, 10 of those, that, 10 of them big trucks like that. I, I looked up on her like, you do not even know. You think you're up there in that truck looking down at me like you, you were better than me or something. Boy, I, you got checked. You about to be wary sick. You, you ain't going to be having a good night's sleep tonight. Better go get you a, a 24 pack of beer. It says, I feel it all over my body. I feel you. You are a part of my body. So today, bae, when I was over there, I had to stop for a minute. And I was like, ooh, bae is heavily thinking about me. And I said, oh, I felt it. I said, I love uh, 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 of you, ooh, 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 too. <laughs> good communication and good energy. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It says, they sold their souls to the devil. That's what we were just talking about. God said, see, y'all wicked because y'all y'all know what it is. And y'all choose to still deal with the devil. Why y'all want to work for the devil? Why do y'all like working for the devil and taking peace and slapping peace out of people's head, uh, lives? Trying to, trying to destroy other people's lives so that you can feel good. Um, John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. You see what I'm saying? Y'all think y'all free because y'all doing what y'all want to do. But see, you know, freedom is when you follow the word of the Lord and he blesses you tremendously. And then he also um, gives you eternal life. And you can go be with Jesus. Like I said yesterday, when I went to the store and I was looking cute from my head to my ankles and um, old girl looked out at my feet uh, and she looked and probably was like, whoa, you know what? I, I, I had on my, my feet look like I've been walking with Jesus. I have. I've been walking with Jesus. My, my feet, I had on my Jerusalem slit, um, sandals yesterday and my feet was all dusty from all this work I've been doing, trying to get to the kingdom of heaven. Okay, a little more and I'm out here. We got some messy neighbors. I do over here. It's so messy. Ugh. Ugh, gosh. Get under my feet, Satan, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to get off. Peace, love, and light. Never let nobody dim your light. Stay up and stay bright for the world to see. And we are now believers. We're here. We're here. We ain't taking no mess. Not off of Satan. We're Satan's fears. We're your fears. We're your th biggest threat. We come with scriptures. We walk in the spirit of the Lord. We bowed it, bowed it, bowed it. One.